Okay, these ones for average value, section 14.3. What we're going to want to do here is just remember average value says if we're getting the integral, so we're going from negative 1 to 3 of some function, I suppose I could write it down lower, We're going to integrate. We want to find the value. Uh, the average value will be this, but to average it out, we divide by the, the length of the interval. So that'll be b minus a, so 1 over 3 minus negative 1. This is basically the new part. We just need to do this 1 over b minus a times the integral going from a to b of some function. That's what I do in general. Okay, So what we get in specific is we get that's 3 minus minus, so that's a plus, that's 3, so that's 1 fourth out front. Uh, if you want the 6 as a constant, so you could bring that out front as well. I'll, I'll just, I'll leave it inside just so Maybe it gets more understandable. e to the 0.5x dx. <clears throat> so we do integrate this. So that's just going to be e to the 0.5x. Remember the, the shortcut rule says then we have to divide by this new, uh, not the new exponent, by the, um, the coefficient in front of the x. So that's a 0.5 the 6, and then we have this 1 fourth out front. Okay, and then we take our limits from negative 1 to 3. Uh, you take 6 divided by 0 0.5, 6 divided by a half, you flip the half, so that's actually 12, 12 over 4. Um, so, um, I don't know, maybe I should show you. Um, so 6, let's uh, clear that one. 6 divided by 0.5. It's going to be 12, right? So that's up here. Yeah, 12 divided by 4 would give us the 3. Okay, so this all up front really just becomes... 3e to the 0.5x, going from negative 1 to 3. And then we just plug in our limit. So the 3 goes in first. 3e to the 0 0.5 times 3 minus 3e to the 0 0.5 times negative 1. Um, 3 times 0 0.5 is going to be 1.5. And negative 1 times 0 0.5 is simply negative 0 0.5. So again, a multiple choice, you would see an answer like this probably, rather than a numerical answer. Okay, so now we've got this as our function. We're going from 0 to 2, and we want the average, so that's integrating from 0 to 2, x cubed minus x dx, and to get average, we take b minus a. So it's just going to be 1 half, right? So we get 1 half, let's integrate, x to the third becomes x to the fourth divided by 4. Let's multiply the whole thing, right? It's a parentheses. Uh, negative x, so add 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, so this becomes minus x squared over 2. Close that off, and it's going to go from 0 to 2. If you wanted to, you could distribute through the 1 half. Um, 
let's go ahead and do that so we get let's do that over here we get x to the fourth over 8 2 times 4 is 8 and then minus x squared over 4 2 times 2 is 4 and going from 0 to 2 the nice part is when you plug in 0 for these x's they're gone so we don't have to worry about the back part plug in the front part you get 2 to the fourth over 8 minus 2 squared over 4 minus and again plug in 0 you get 0 minus 0 so this is all going to be 0 okay so just to let you know we didn't forget about it um, 8 is is really 2 to the third so if you want to think of this right this is 2 to the fourth over 2 to the third that's just going to be 2 4 is 2 squared so that's 2 squared over 2 squared which is 1 2 minus 1 is 1 Okay. You could have also done the graphing calculator method and, and gotten your answer and then multiplied by a half. So I think your answer probably would have been 2. Multiply by a half, you get 1 as your answer. Okay. Watching the time here, almost time. One more problem. So let's, uh, let me... Oops, I don't want to, I just want to move it. There we go. Um, let me do an, a page break. There we go. I'm trying to fit this in before I um, proctor another exam. So uh, average value, again, we've got, we're given this, we're given our limits. So we just want to go from negative 2 to 2 um, of this function. And the average is going to be from A minus, or sorry, B, the top, minus the bottom. And notice that's going to be a plus, so this is going to be 1 fourth times this integral. Now, if you want to use the graphing calculator, which I will on this one, we're going to graph this as our function, find the um, area between these two, and then we multiply by one-fourth, and that'll give us the average. So we're going to clear these out, and I'm going to come and turn this y1 minus y1 off. We're actually only going to have a, a y1 in this case. We plug in this function. So we'll do 6x squared minus 4x plus 7. I'm going to look at the graph. Uh, we're going from negative 2 to 2. I think my windows are probably going to be just fine. See, plus 7. Actually, it's not because plus 7 is above here. Let's just do a zoom standard, which is good practice anyway. It's way up there, so it's going to go from negative 2 to 2. Um, let's come back with the window. Let's move the x's in. So I'm going to go from negative 2. Oops, not point 2. Let's go negative 2. To 2. That's all we need to see in the x direction. Uh, since it was way up there, I'm going to go actually from positive 5 till um, 15. Okay, so I've just moved my window up. We'll see this portion. Um, actually, I, I switched my, I changed my mind because we want the area, it's really giving us the area under the curve, so I'm going to make my y minimum 0 so I can see the x-axis. Okay, so it just gives us a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the area from here to there. Um, one more thing. I, just to see everything, let's go with our y max. Let's go to 40, I think, just so we can see everything. It's just a guess. Yeah, it looks like it'll do it. Yeah, we'll see everything here. 
and we're going to integrate this from negative 2 to 2. Second calc, number 7. I just want to show you. Our lower bound is negative 2. Our upper bound is positive 2. We're getting this area. So what we've done is this part is equal to 60. We have this 1 fourth out here. Um, 1 fourth times 60 is 60 over 4. 2 goes into both of those. 2 goes into 63. So you get 30 over 2, um, which is 15. 4 goes into 60. I should have known that one. But see, sometimes if you don't recognize, I didn't know that 4 would go in there evenly. I got to this and I say, oh, 30 divided by 2, that's just going to be 15. Okay. So let me take a snapshot of this. Paste it in here. Make it a little bit smaller. Let's move it up. And I want to go back and, and show what we actually graphed. So that's what we had as our graph. That's what was active. We'll put that right here. And again, I'll make it uh, tight. We'll close this up a little bit. We'll put that there. We move this over here. Come on. There we go. And that's going to call it good, just in time for my college algebra final. So I will afterwards work on the last section, which will be down here, consumer surplus and produce, uh, producer surplus, only three questions. Um, we did go through several of these, but uh, hopefully this helps you with the average. Keep on working hard to do well on these uh, this last test. Thank you.